All right, guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Mr. Baby, and finally, we are wrapping up this one, this, you know, easy A uh, prediction for the 120 leaders. So up to this point, we've done AGL. Up to this point, we've done tech, intelligence, and STR. And finally, we're finishing off with the physical 120 easy A predictions. So, you know, after this video is over, I want to let I want you guys to let me know what you think of these ECAs. Um, did you enjoy them? You know, what would you change about this one specifically? Like anything, it doesn't really matter to me, right? So I'll repeat this again, like I said in every other one of these videos. Small changes are, are what these units need. Nothing too crazy, okay? Um, because these units they either lack something something small. That made them fall off a little bit, right? <clears throat> so, this Super Saiyan 3 um, Go Tanks, by the way, is still a very, very, very strong unit. The, where they lack is, is defense, right? So, leader skill, um, as you guys have seen before, we raise this to key plus 4 and 120%. And then key plus 2 and all stats 90%, which is, that's what we've been doing for all the 120s. Um, super attack. So he has three super attacks, which is really cool. A uh, galactic donut, um, nine to nine to ten key, um, charging ultra boo boo volleyball, eleven key, and then life risking blow, twelve key. So they have all three um, different you know effects here. So we'll take a look at each one right now. So causes immense damage to enemy and greatly lowers defense for this one. So we can do causes immense damage to enemy, and greatly lowers attack and defense, right? Just like that. Um, his 11 key, which is apparently his strongest, massively raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage to enemy. Let's do massively, massively raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage to enemy. Right? I feel like we can just do that. And then life risking. Actually, no. For his 11 key, why don't we make him stack? For just for his 11 key, we could do greatly raises attack. Bam. Just that's it. Just greatly raises attack and causes immense damage to enemy. So you'll you'll have a, a good reward for, for getting that 11 key off but again it's not the easiest thing in the world right and then life risking blow causes immense damage to enemy and raises attack for one turn so let's do causes immense damage causes immense damage to enemy and raises attack and defense for one turn right so like i said causes immense damage to enemy and, and greatly lowers attack and defense for his 9 to 10 key uh, here he just raises attack uh, greatly raises attack for, for his 11 key and then he just raises attack and defense for his 12 key so pass the skill Ultra Super Saiyan, attack plus 120%, plus an additional attack plus 60%, and defense minus 30% for seven, for seven turns from start of turn. Interesting. Interesting. So they really want to, they really want to, I just, I just want to give them a little bit of defense, and I kind of want to go back to the super attack really quick. So instead of defense here, we could just do cause immense damage to enemy and greatly raise his attack for one turn, right? Um... So yeah, we'll just do greatly there because I, I, I want to keep this unit offensive, right? But I want to give him just a little bit of defense, which is really all he needs. So honestly, we could do attack and attack plus one hundred twenty percent, right? Plus an additional attack plus sixty percent. Let's bump this up to eighty percent. No, he he doesn't need to get any stronger. He's already getting stronger here. Uh, attack plus one hundred twenty percent plus an additional attack plus sixty percent and defense. Should we just take this all out? The thing about Dokkan is like they like they like to either change these. I don't think they really just take this all out, right? So if we do defense minus ten percent, right, for five turns from the start of battle, that's one way we. That's sorry, that's one way that we can take care of this. Also, we can just eliminate this whole thing, right? Um, you know, but then he still lacked a little bit of defense. So how about we do? If you want to eliminate this whole thing, how about we do attack plus 120%, right? Defense plus 100%. Um, ooh, actually, I have a really interesting concept. Okay, let me, okay, just hear me out, guys. Hear me out. So you guys see how he has three different super attacks? What if how much defense he gets depends on which super attack he gets, right? So attack plus 120%, right? Defense... Plus, yeah. So okay, let's just let's just erase all of this, right? Let's say, let's just pretend this doesn't exist, okay? Attack and attack plus one hundred twenty percent. 
Defense plus 60% if he gets the 9 to 10 key off, gets the Gal Galactic Donut off. Defense plus 100%. Uh, defense plus 120% if he gets up the Charging Ultra Boo Boo Ball Volleyball. And then defense plus 100% if he gets off the Life Risking Blow. Oh, we can just do back to 60%, right? And then if he gets this 11 key off, he doubles it. Do you, do you think that's fair? I feel like it's... I feel like it's kind of hard to get the 11 key, especially if you're running on like a good like key team uh, or just a team heavy on key, right? Um, so it could be hard getting that off, but I wanted to make it rewarding and he already massively raises, not massively, but greatly raises his attack once he gets this off, right? So we'll do attack plus 120%, defense plus 60% if he gets this off, defense plus 60% if he gets this off, and then we can do defense plus 100% if he gets this one off, right? Um, and then we can do, I want to give him some type of category gimmick. Uh, how about we do, why don't we just make him, uh, youth category allies, key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 30%. Bam. Add that to the passive skill and we're good to go. All right. So this guild tanks has just went from really good to probably insane. Honestly, I couldn't, I kind of spent a long time on them now on purpose, but I want to give him you know, defense and make them a little bit of interesting. So that is my idea for this go tanks. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And let's move on to the last unit. We have opened the gates of hell cooler final form. Okay. So like I said, everything here changes this. I'm not going to repeat the leader skill. You guys already know how that works. Uh, so a super attack, death crasher causes immense damage to enemy and greatly lowers defense. Let's do cause immense damage to enemy and massively lowers defense. I feel like that'd be really cool. Um, wow, look, a unit who actually gives himself attack and defense. None of these, none of these EZAs, these 120s have done that, but attack and defense plus 100%, launch an additional attack, which has a chance to become a super attack. So what is that chance? 10% chance? Okay, that's not good. We're going to do this right now. Attack and defense plus 120% launches two additional t attacks. Each have, a, each have a medium chance, which I think is 30% chance, right? Each has a 30% chance of becoming a super attack. And then we can do um, Terrifying Conquerors category key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 30%. This cooler becomes a monster after that, okay? So he massively lowers, did I say greatly? Yeah, massively lowers defense. Um, attack and defense plus 120%, so he's, he's a little bit stronger defensively and offensively. He launches two additional attacks each have a 30 percent chance of becoming a super attack and then he um buffs up the terrifying conquerors category by two key and attack and defense plus 30 percent i feel like that is really good i don't know why i made these two support type units but it is what it is let me know what you guys think in the comment section below that is my idea for this cooler um you know if you if you disagree um, feel free to let me know how you would build it. You know, I mean, this is just an opinionated video at the end of the day. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that like button and subscribe if you are new. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.